This was a bit of a bat bleep crazy NCAA tournament. A 16 seed beat a 1. 1 seeds were going down all over the place. Cinderella stories abounded. And your national title game was a 4 seed versus a 5 seed. And San Diego State... We're rooting for them. Go Aztecs. Uh, they unfortunately fell a little bit short in the national title game against UConn. Uh, the Huskies won their fifth national title. They're 5-0 and in title games. Uh, but it, it was just an amazing run by San Diego State. Got to take your hats off to them. And also, you got to respect their most famous alum, Kevin O'Connell. That's right. Kevin O'Connell, the gunslinger from San Diego. Absolutely loved him uh, from back in the day. Of course, he, he was there supporting his alma mater. Uh, and Kwesi was there in Princeton uh, when uh, both teams were playing in Louisville, uh, w- which was kind of fun. Fortunately, they, they didn't get to square off because I, I want I would want to know what that wager would have been. The winner gets to decide which quarterback you're going to take. Ooh, high stakes. Been good times, man. But, yeah, Kevin O'Connell, the pride of San Diego State, has a lot of love for his alma mater. Uh, after the uh, national title run- runner-up finish, uh, he uh, tweeted this up. Incredible journey for the Go Aztecs team. Congrats to Dutch and his team staff. Uh, made all of, of us so proud watching them fight to the very end. Love everything about Aztec men's basketball and the program they have built over the last 24 years. And, you know, the Aztecs... I mean, they've had a couple Sweet 16 appearances before, but you know this is by far their best finish. And you gotta, you gotta respect uh, what Brian Dutcher has done. Where you know Dutcher was a longtime Steve Fisher assistant. Fisher was at Michigan forever. Fab Five, that that whole thing. Dutcher actually uh, gets a lot of credit for recruiting uh, a lot of that Fab Five. And then he went to San Diego State, and then Dutcher eventually took over after Fisher retired. And he's got that program going, man. He absolutely does. Plus, uh, there's talk about them moving to the Pac-12, uh, you know, taking on a larger conference, and I think that they're going to have sustained success. Also, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, so, Jim, uh, his, his father, Jim, Brian Dutcher's father, Jim, used to be head coach of the Gophers, so mm, lo- there's always a local tie-in. That's right, man. But I, I just love – this is why we love the NCAA tournament and why a lot of people do. We love the underdogs. We love the Cinderella's. We love – you know, teams that may not have the best recruits, they may not have the best facilities, they may not have the prestige as some of these other schools, but they get in there and fight. And San Diego State did just that the entire way. And I mean, hats off to him. Yeah, I mean, you got to be proud uh, of what you did. And this is something that you can build on. Like, San Diego State ain't going to be going away. And. It's fun, man. It is a lot of fun. Plus, uh, it's cool to see, uh, you know, Kevin O'Connell, where you know San Diego State, solid football program, not really known as a basketball power, but it seems like they're rising up. So, really, really cool to see, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell shows some love to his alma mater for the national title runner-up finish. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.